Bolt is a an open source framework from Facebook. It is a, basically an implementation of Promises. And if you watched any of my videos on Promises, you'll understand exactly what this is. This is just an implementation of that. So if you haven't seen that, I would highly recommend that you go back and, and watch those videos and you'll learn conceptually all about Promises. For Bolt, uh, it comes in two flavors, iOS and Android. I'm going to look at the iOS one here. iOS works in both Swift and Objective-C and it's hosted on GitHub. So you can just head over to the GitHub project, Bolt's framework, Bolt's-iOS or Android, whichever you prefer. And you know, there's a, there's a decent amount of documentation here. I'm going to go through how to use Bolt's in your iOS application, specifically with Objective-C. So let's get started. If you haven't watched my videos, my other videos on promises, I'm going to give you just a very brief description or definition of, the, of what a promise is, just so you won't be lost here. So a promise is a way, not the only way, but a way of dealing with asynchronous code. So in mobile applications, it's very important to understand the concept of concurrency and keeping things off the main thread. And Bolts is a way to do that. When you run code, be it queries against the database or um, long running operations like network requests, those need to occur off the main thread so that your UI remains responsive. And being able to get responses or errors back from those asynchronous operations and coordinate them together if you have multiple things going on concurrently it is can be sometimes difficult. And promises are a way that makes that possible. So the, the key thing about a promise is that when you make an asynchronous request, you get back a promise. You get something at the point of request that you can hold on to and use to help coordinate the responses or errors from that asynchronous request. Bolts is a fairly simple framework. There's really three main classes that you need to understand in order to use it effectively. And I'm going to go through those three classes in other videos. But I'll give you a brief uh, look at those right now. So I'm here at the um, GitHub project. And so I'm going to click on Bolts and then Common. And the three classes that you you'll need to become familiar with are first the executor and the executor is something that makes it easy to work with all the concurrency mechanisms in iOS that would be um, dispatch queues with Grand Central Dispatch or NS operation queues and Bolts works equally well with both so whichever you prefer to use in terms of concurrency implementations or both you can use with Bolts. The second class is BF task and essentially that's just a promise. I wish they would have called it promise instead of task because this comes becomes confusing and it sounds kind of like the command pattern. Um, this really should have been called promise and then we have another sort of utility class here that creates a, a task or a promise called the task completion source. These three classes will go over these, if you understand these well, you'll have no problem whatsoever using Bolts and integrating it into your own applications.